It's the beginning of Homecoming Weekend, a time to reunite with friends, celebrate tradition, and return to beloved Purdue. The Boilermakers kickoff against Northern Illinois is hours away. But for Ian Mixer, game day begins long before dawn. This junior in chemical engineering also plays first trumpet in the Purdue All-American Marching Band. Usually for a noon game we're up by six and then the stressful part is making sure you've got everything for the day for nine hours and you're, gonna, you're not missing anything. Like I gotta take drill today because we're teaching the alumni um, what the drill is today. Along with his roommates, who are also trumpet players in the band, Ian heads to Hull Field for stretches, uniform inspection and warm-ups, followed by pre-game and halftime rehearsals with the Purdue Alumni Band. Um, what I'm looking for here is got the bird, hat, could be a little straight. straight. But 10 also does it from the other side, so they're inspecting from the other side. Um, just the same music thing, material, the same, uh, if they're shaved, if their hat, hat fits correctly, if their uniform fits correctly, there's no major uh, damages or kind of unclean spots. Meanwhile, 60 miles south of West Lafayette, Deanie and Leslie Taylor load up the Burley Boilermaker. This Carmel couple, both of whom attended Purdue, converted this ambulance into the ultimate tailgating vehicle. When there's a 12 o'clock game, usually we're up by 5.30, 6 o'clock. I do my food the couple days before, so everything's ready in the refrigerator, and there's a shelf dedicated to tailgate food. Deanie knows where to go, what to load, and we'll just take off, head to Purdue. By 8 a.m., Deanie and Leslie are on the road to ross -Aid Stadium. Back in Lafayette, sophomore center Robert Kugler's game day begins with a team walk and a pregame meal at the Holiday Inn City Center. On campus, Ian gets about a half hour of downtime for a meal outside Elliott Hall of Music. At 7 a.m. is when we start rehearsal at Hall Field, but then that's just kind of like warming up, getting into things, making sure you have everything down for the day. And then you get, get there at Elliott and then you get your food and your water, and that, that's really when you, you start the day. So it's, it's that calm before the storm of get, getting to Mackey, you got the loose nerves, you got, got a little bit of excitement going for the game day. The band then marches to Mackey Arena, where they'll perform at the 211 Session Pep Rally. The 211 Session really gives a good overview of what, what the cheers are and kind of gets everybody into making sure they're ready for the game. It's about that time that Deanie and Leslie arrive at the stadium and get the party started. Across the bridge, Robert and the Boilermakers board a bus headed to the pep rally, where Ian and the band are warming up the crowd. For as long as it takes, boil her up. As the team departs for the locker room, the band plays on. Outside the stadium, Deanie and Leslie's tailgate is going strong. For our tailgate, there'll probably be 40 to 50 people here by the time uh, the uh, game starts, and there'll probably be 20 plus people that'll stay out here and watch the game on TV and continue to tailgate while we're inside. We're going to grill some shrimp, we're going to grill some pizzas, and then we'll just put all the food out. People will start coming in droves. Just before 11 a.m., Robert leaves the locker room for pregame drills. 
Moments later, he gets ready for the team's new crazy train entrance. At the same time, Ian and the band are on the move to ross Aid Stadium. Shortly after they arrive, they'll make their pregame formations. While Deanie and Leslie leave the burly Boilermaker behind to head to their seats, many of their friends stay outside to hold down the fort. At 11.40 a.m., Ian and the band dart onto the field for pregame. Deanie and Leslie make their way to their seats near the 40-yard line. And just before noon, Robert and the team are set to take the field against Northern Illinois. These boilers started the day in separate places, but they've been brought together by the tradition, the majesty, and the thrill of Purdue homecoming. Join us next time on One Brick Higher for an inside look at how Boilermaker athletes maintain peak performance throughout the season.